Hey, welcome. This is Rox Revenheart of the Rox Revenheart channel. Meet the Crimson Avenger. I've talked about it in previous videos, but this is uh, me attempting to make a van life, no build, van build, stealth camper van, uh, our livable RV kind of thing in a Kia Sedona. I call it the Crimson Avenger because the key, yeah, because the K, the I and the A in Kia looks like a K with a dash and an A to me. So I call it the Crimson Avenger playing around with the words Crimson with a K instead of a C. Avenger, just avenging my bloodline, my children, my life, me. It's taking our family and saving us in time. So I call it the Crimson Avenger. So today I'm filming, hopefully the shakes of this camera isn't too bad, but today I'm filming, uh, at, like I said, an attempt to film the Crimson Avenger no build because I have to use this vehicle for multi-purposes as a family vehicle but as an emergency uh, stealth camper for situations where I might have to you know camp out in it or whatnot I've always been kind of a big fan of the whole van life idea and it's really saved my ass a couple times so I'm trying to come up with an idea for a, a no build van build um, this is my third design and being my third design, I had a cargo van, and I had a second minivan that w wasn't red or anything cool like that, but uh, that one just had too many problems, so I ended up fixing it up just enough to sell it, and uh, the cargo van was <laughs> a rust bucket from hell. I wanted to fix it up, it had a lot of good space, but it had no AC, and at the time I didn't know how to repair my own AC, so uh, I sold it as a cargo van instead of a camper van. This one I'm keeping, this is the family vehicle, but this is also my Crimson Avenger. So let's take a look see. So walking up you see it's just your regular family camper van or regular uh, family van but I have removed the middle seats put in a new carpet underneath the existing carpet so it's nice and kind of padded and flat. I am thinking about throwing in an extra layer of carpet over but for the most part this is safe for anyone to kind of lay on and be comfortable. I put a blanket up over the back seat to kind of just make it nice, you know, wind blew it over just now, oh well. Well those are stow and go seats which are convenient for a no build van build. However, in this case, I have them in the upright position because I tend to like, I'm kind of, I'm not the biggest dude but I'm also not the smallest, I can scrunch up and sleep somewhat comfortably on. So as you can see I'll crawl up in here and show for example. This is the seats in the upright position, comfortable. I can use them for traveling with my family, for what I gotta do. But um, there are some days where I just throw a pillow in here. I kick back like so, my pillow, and I can sleep somewhat comfortably. It kind of sucks not being able to stretch out, roll around, turn around, or anything like that. However, it is comfortable. I can not sit here and kind of take a nap. That's what I usually do like on a work day. I might come back here and take a nap in my stealth camper kind of thing with the tinted windows and all that however this is a no build van build but this is also for van life we want to be able to live in this thing at some point so as I go around building up this thing I want to eventually either stow these down and build a bed but a design I've come up with a no build is I'll show you in, in later in this video I have a bunch of plastic crates that I found little milk crates that I'm gonna lay down to create my platform each one is a storage bin in of itself so uh, I will plan on showing that get down to camera level a little bit so if I lay down these uh, milk crates I counted out about six to nine of them that work out perfectly and they come up to about a height equal to this platform the seat so if I lay them out across this area it creates a raised platform for a bedding with a raised platform for the bedding I'm now then able to just lay like either a, a board like a, a sheet of wood something like that or what I was thinking more or less using a uh, uh, mattress or something like that so if it depends on what materials you have available what materials I have available I think I might go with a wood platform uh, a, a wooden sheet and then a you know mattress foam or a mattress that I can throw over the top of it that should 
extend over this and just run all along there so I could lay the long ways and maybe fit one or two people in here comfortably and have all that storage underneath with about six to nine of those crates I haven't quite figured it out just yet how many to use but with six to nine milk crates that's a lot of storage under the bed and they, they, they store quite a bit so I, I'm not too worried about storage space and it gets you all that sleeping room in this build being a no build van build I, I don't really foresee myself needing to put in a sink and kitchen and all that I am considering the option of clearing out this middle space here all these cup holders and whatnot and putting in maybe one of those like like little mini fridges or something like that um, eventually I'd like to do what everybody else is doing and cut out the little roof vent but first I want to kind of see what I can tolerate I am in Florida so it can get really hot but this thing opens wide open this is why I like the minivan over a cargo van is you got the double doors you got these little side windows that crack open and you got the back hatch and the front windows and front doors you can open this thing wide open for tons of airflow and still have shade and all that now I do want to not just do this all in one shot one video kind of thing because this is a process um, I have not cut out a roof vent I don't even know if I will or not but you know uh, these are very popular videos on YouTube so it's not like I'm, I'm just trying to get a little piece of that but at the same time this is kind of what I am about I've traveled the country so many times and with myself with my family with my band that I kind of miss the road and this is kind of my way to get back on the road and still do the things I have to do in my daily life uh, I kind of wanted to make a little vlog studio I mean like I said this is becoming a very popular trend um, I've really had my eye on it for a while and I'm kind of glad that I can invest in my third build here and in this one I wanted to keep it simple so if I have to tear it down for family use that'd be good if I have to tear it down to resell it if there's too many problems or if it breaks down completely and just junk it I can still take the design I have to another vehicle and that's kind of the point uh, I didn't want nothing permanent in this design that's it's not to be lazy but I just don't really want anything permanent because you never know I'm buy, I bought this Crimson Avenger this Kia Sedona 2006 for $500 with 180,000 miles on it and the previous owner rest in peace he passed away but he uh, his son sold it to me for $500 I did not know these people there was no previous relationship or anything like that but uh, I just saw an ad in the marketplace and I, I offered them 500 for it they were asking 2,000 but they kind of needed to sell it fast and I, that's all I had at the time so $500 they sold it to me there was no nothing wrong mechanically that I had to work on there was brand new tires I mean the thing was sweet sweet it's now about 210,000 miles I put a lot of miles on it already but uh, it's been a beautiful uh, little vehicle for me. It's worked out really well for my family. I've already stuff camped in it plenty of times just without any real build to it. I have uh, these little foam things I'll show you that I put in the windows. I haven't really sized them completely, but they're like sound foam. Being a previously a musician, they're just like this little sound type uh, packaging foam I use to cover up and black out the windows. They fit in really good. I don't even have to Velcro or do anything. They just pop right in. Uh, they, because they're squishy they kind of just mold and whatnot to it there is a little gap and I'll show that uh, I'll get to that in a minute um, so stay tuned so anyway so as you can see these milk crates I've lined up three of them just to show an example so far that you can lay these little storage bins as I'm calling them in a grid of three by probably three or four lengthwise so once again how crazy is that just using something as simple as a bunch of plastic milk crates I mean these things are designed to be sturdy they're they're not gonna bend they're not gonna warp they're not gonna fold under themselves and a grid of three by three creating nine storage bins for whatever you need I mean that's how's that for organization you could dedicate food to some you can dedicate your pots and pans to others, you can dedicate your clothing, you can dedicate miscellaneous, all fitting perfectly inside that of a minivan. Not bad. And it gives you all this kind of extra space. I mean, I'm going to show you an example of me laying down on it 
and as soon as I find something to lay over the top. Now this isn't going to be my finished design, but at least it'll look a little better. Okay now, so don't take this too seriously. This is kind of more of a joke that I just stole my children's uh, twin mattress just to give it a test because I do not have a board or a memory foam uh, on hand at the moment. So I was just kind of playing around with the idea to give an example of what I'm talking about. You could throw a mattress in here. I mean, that is technically workable, but let's see how that works. <laughs> so it'd be a little bit comical because uh, I'm just kind of winging it on all free materials right now to kind of give an idea of what I'm going for. I threw my children's mattress up in here. It's a twin bed mattress. This is not how I would do this, but for now it fits. The only way this fits though is I had to put it in sleep mode and have all the seats pushed forward for the driver and passenger seat. This is why I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. However, just to test the idea out, I threw the mattress up just to show the example that those wood crates they're strong, they're sturdy, they will hold up to any weight. And it really kind of works. And odd as that is, as you can see, there's space enough on each side to kind of put other stuff. So I don't know, that might work. I don't, <laughs> like I said, I was just kind of being funny. But um, it could work. Yeah, work with what you got. That's kind of what I'm all about, is using recycled materials, using whatever I find in the neighborhood. Uh, Whatever's tossed out, what people don't want anymore, I convert it to something else. I make, I give it more life, um, which is why I have all those little uh, milk crates. Those are free material that I could work with and use for a said project like this. A no build van build. Cost me nothing. So far I've only invested $500 into this project and it's still very doable. But I am going to replace the mattress with you know, like a memory foam and some board, that kind of thing. So it's custom shaped to what I need and whatnot. But I did do this to prove a point that it does work. It can be done with just a twin mattress. And it's still pretty comfortable. When you throw some pillows on it and everything, I would still be able to do this. Other than uh, to put it in a drive mode, I'd have to pull the seats back. I'd have to lift this up and scoot it up a little bit. But even that's not an impossible idea. It can be done, and it's not really throwing anything off too hard. So, once again, no build, van build. So, as I was saying before, I was using a like soundproof foam or packaging foam material, this like really squishy egg crate type material. Uh, I happen to have some lying around from something I ordered, and it was really strong, good packaging. So I used it to uh, actually just kind of tuck in for blacking out. Now, it do, it's not a perfect fit, but it does squish and hold itself in with like maybe a little bit, bit of like a Velcro or something right here could stick to that or you know find some other way. What I was thinking of doing instead of putting anything sticky or anything on the window itself was uh, finding some more material to kind of fill in these gaps and glue it directly to this material and cut it out to perfection so it just has to pop right in and hold itself in place. That's all it's got to do. And... You can do that to all the windows. I mean, this is soundproof, it's insulation, it's it's great material to use for this. A lot of people using that um, the Reflectix and all that, you can go ahead with that. I don't happen to have any Reflectix and I don't plan on buying anything. Like I said, I, I'm going cheap mode. We're doing this on a budget, we're doing this for free, we're doing this like a cheapskate. With what you have, work with what you have. And in this case, I have egg crate foam packaging material. So that's what I'm doing. And okay, for power needs, since you don't want to be running off your battery, uh, your vehicle battery all the time and drain your battery so you can't start your car and drive off or whatever, you're going to want some kind of external power source, which is uh, very popular in the van life community and you all should already know that if you watch millions of these videos already, um, using, I think one of the most popular ones is Jackery. Well, I didn't have a Jackery. I do have something called Echo Power. Um, power your green lift I don't even know what that is it's it is a Jackery like battery it is cheap it's a knockoff brand I'm not even really sure uh, whatever it is I just bought it off of uh, the marketplace really dirt cheap it was supposed to be $400 I got it for $100 so it can't it came in a nice little carrying case and it comes with this little deal here this is the battery very nice 
still holding juice. I haven't charged this thing in months. And it powers right up. It has full capacity right now. It, it has your AC, DC power. It is a power station that has like your 12 volt deal there. It's got USB ports, your output, and all that. This one's put by Echo Power, which I believe is just a uh, a rebranded version of another um, one of these. So uh, I forget the main thing now, but um, it's got pretty good capacity. Uh, I'm trying to think, it's a 400 watt watt out, 400 watt hour uh, power station. You know, so it's, it gives you a pretty good run. I run a uh, a little personal fan off of it. Maybe charge my devices. I, I usually charge my devices while I'm driving. But um, I, so I mainly just dedicate this for a fan. I have a little personal fan that I hook up to the back of the seat, and I just connect it to this so I can run a fan all night for a couple of days. And you know, you can always charge it up by plugging it into your uh, car. So as you're driving, it recharges. So you always have fan power at night. Um, it could, you know, just like the Jackeries and all the other branded stuff, is you can power all your basic little needs, recharge your cell phones, your your uh, laptops and other small devices and that's really what it's kind of good for it's portable so you know you can take it out of the van and to a picnic table or whatnot you can take it into a tent you can take it around with you to power your devices so it is very handy and like I said I only paid a hundred dollars for a four hundred dollar piece of equipment so again keeping this cheap keeping this affordable uh, it probably could power like a small refrigerator type thing but uh, one of those uh, one of those ice containers kind of thing like that but um i wouldn't do that because it, it you probably only get one day off one night off of that um you want to get a little bit more uh, efficient with that kind of thing using like solar power or some some other means um, this does connect to solar panels i do not own the solar, solar panels for it yet i do plan on investing in something like that i'd actually really like to invest in like a jackery i think but since I already got this, why would I? I don't know. Use this until this dies, or use this until I can afford a Jackery or one of the other uh, more popular branded uh, things. But branding alone, this has been a pretty good little power unit. It, Eco Power has um, not let me down yet. 400 watt hours is not bad. It has really good output. Um, and I'm not trying to do an infomercial on that right now. So uh, I'm just trying to show that I have my power needs kind of a little bit met. And uh, that's really what you want in a van life situation is you want to be able to power your little stuff so you can continue to record on the road so you can be comfortable at night watch your netflix that kind of thing um, kick back and chill uh, make sure you got your fan blowing on you so you're not too hot too cold uh, we're approaching winter now so it's fall so you gotta have some kind of heater need which i have not invested in and i'm not sure i've run a heater off of this little battery all night long but you probably could i don't know i haven't tried that out yet I just bundle up. Uh, I'm a New Yorker, so I'm used to extreme temperatures and extreme cold. So <laughs> I, I have camped out in a car before, froze my ass off. But uh, right now I'm in Florida, so I don't have to really worry about winter so much here. But I will invest in like a little little heater system. I've been seeing a lot of popularity going with that dry heater systems and stuff like that. I don't know if I put that into a no build, band build, but. Um, uh, heat buddy or my buddy or whatever they call those things those would be pretty good for a little little place space like this I imagine because of all the windows I have it's gonna be really hard to uh, insulate and keep something like this warm however you put enough of these little egg crate insulation uh, stone things to black out your car maybe it can insulate good enough put enough furniture in here you know enough enough things to absorb heat and hold the heat maybe you can stay warm so that's the idea um, that's all I have for now I this is only part one of the Crimson Avenger story um, this is my Kia Sedona 2006 got it for $500 put a twin bed mattress over a bunch of uh, plastic milk crates using my echo power battery to charge my devices you know not bad I put zero money into this this is all just stuff I already had lying around this is already stuff I've used for other van builds. This is stuff that I can just take out in 10 minutes and put into another van if I have to. It solves a lot of problems for me and my family. Uh, in an emergency, I can go camping. 
I can do whatever I need to do. If I have to, if I get kicked out, if I have any problems whatsoever, I am prepared. If things really hit the fan, the world goes to crap. At least I'm got my mobile little unit here. Um, we had hurricane season here in Florida, so that's always a good thing. Yeah, I can't throw my whole family in here for that purpose, but um, if I equip the other driver with their own van build the same and like the other parent and fit a couple kids in each car you can still you can make this happen so it is possible to do the Crimson Avenger to save my family and do a stealth camping scenario around the country if you enjoyed this build this no build van build video stay tuned for more Crimson Avenger stories as I go deeper into uh, construction on this vehicle and deeper into better design um, it's always good to go refine what you've already designed. I've done a bunch using just spare wood and stuff like that. I like this milk crate design. I just came up with this because I saw some on the side of the road. So I took them and I'm like, wow, these are really sturdy. Uh, they're easier than using all that wood I was building with. And they're not creaky. They're not rickety. They're very firm and very sturdy. I can bounce on them. They support my weight. They're not bending, folding, or anything like that, which is awesome. Um, the only thing I would really change about this is instead of using a twin mattress, I would just go get one of those memory foams and a, and a board or some way, something I can use to lift up and get easier access to the crate storage. Uh, that would be nice. Other than that, I'm ready to go. I can go camping right now with what I have. Uh, I do have a little cooler that I can put ice in and do that kind of thing, so I don't really need a fridge to get started. I can just use my little cooler. I have it as maybe like a desktop even. I mean, multi-purpose. Everything you use in a van life scenario or mini house or anything like that, it's multi-purpose. Safe space, multi-purpose things. Take the best advantage of what you got. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more Crimson Avenger videos. This is only the beginning, people.